Hey guys, what's up? So in today's video, I will be doing a tutorial on Paint 3D. So let's get started. So, uh, Paint 3D is basically an image editing software. You can edit images, you can create images. So, that's what we're going to be talking today. So, let's get started. First thing you need to do is uh, go down to the search bar and type in Paint 3D. Next, you'll see the best match comes up Paint 3D app. Then click on open. Then in the welcome screen, uh, you will be seeing two options: new and open. If you have exist, if you have uh, existing projects or files that you have not finished, you can go ahead and open them. Uh, if you haven't uh, got any files, go ahead and start a new one. Then, basically, uh, that uh, uh, so this is where that we're gonna be editing our uh, image. You can zoom in in your canvas to fix small spots of your painting. You can zoom out, uh, and then you can see the 3D view of your project. You can uh, crop out the canvas to whatever size that you want. They will be giving you some options of frame. So you can choose uh, framing options right in here. If you're not comfortable with this, you can create a cu custom width and height, and then click on done. Uh, I think I'm gonna be satisfied with this. Then uh, there is brushes. Brushes are basically that you can uh, uh, add uh, paint whatever in your whatever you need in the canvas this is marker this is calligraphy pen this is oil brush this is watercolor this is pixel pen this is pencil this is the eraser this is the crayon this is the spray can and then this is the fill so in this option Whatever color that you pick will be filled in the entire canvas by a single click. So, uh, then there is the file type, fill type. You can uh, fill uh, color default or side and angle. Uh, by default, if you uh, chosen to add color, I'm going to be uh, putting that. Then, uh, for the next part, uh, I need to be, I need to clear all this. Give me a second. So, when you uh, select a marker or whatever brush that brush that you need, there is there are two options: thickness and opacity. Thickness is going to be when you adjust this scale right here. When you uh, take it to this part, it's gonna increase the thickness when you take it to this part it will decrease the thickness so thickness is uh, basically it's gonna make the area of your brush uh, bigger so this is that thickness as 4 pixels so when I increase it for 86 percent it's gonna be like this for opacity is the how much light is your gonna be color if you want the thick color for about 100% or 92 or 86 you can take that or 9% uh, very uh, light color so uh, let's say for an example I take 16% let's see it's getting a very very light color of blue then there is an option that says uh, choose a material. You can cut, make a custom material, polished metal, dull metal, gloss metal. Uh, you can uh, uh, pick the color. In here, you can edit the color, and then uh, uh, and then uh, choose the color. If you're not, uh, if you don't know what how to choose the color, uh, there is an option that says. Eyedropper, pick up a color from anywhere in your workspace 
and when you select this let's say that you have a color in your workspace that but you don't know but you and then you need to use it twice but you don't know how to get it from the color picker so uh, zoom in where you where you have that color then click so it will automatically drop in the color next let's see the 2d shapes give me a second and where are all this so next is 2d shapes so in 2d shapes we can take any shape in this selection and then click and draw them in here and then you will get the selection and then you will get the shape sorry so for example i will take this square and then i'm gonna click and draw the square right here and then you can rotate the image you can rotate the 3d shape to 2d shape and then uh, you can click on this stamp icon right here then it will give you give you a duplicate uh, 2d shape as you can see i got the 2d uh, shape just like this one duplicate it then uh, you can uh, make color fill the inside of your 2d shape uh, you can choose a color by in here you can change the lining of your uh, shape and then you, as you uh, as like that you can change the thickness of your uh, shape and then uh, and then you can uh, sticker opacity you can change the sticker opacity in uh, the color uh, of your 2d shape and then you can uh, choose the material you can make the shape you can make the 2d shape 3d so you will not be getting a clear uh, look at where what is your 2d image is by uh, looking at your 2 3d image like this you need to if you want to see the 3d view of your 3d uh, image uh, you can go ahead and click on this 3d view icon right here and then you'll see the 3d view of your uh, 2d shape it's great next uh, we will cover let me exit the 3d view uh, there are some options there that we haven't talked about and you can rotate and flip your 2d image and so let's move on to uh, let me uh, select off these images right here okay i got rid of the all of the 2d shapes that i have created and then there there are lines and curves so these are all of your uh, lines that you're gonna get in 2d shapes uh, you saw all of these 2d shapes uh, various kind of shapes uh, we have shown uh, so these are very great you can create any uh, shape uh, you can get any shape from here and then you can edit and then there is lines when you click on a line and then click on the canvas you will, will be getting let me change the thickness to here about here and then uh, color to black so you will be getting the exact line that you saw I think it's a bit separated uh, I think it's a bit, uh, it's in the wrong angle. No, I think uh, when you uh, uh, draw a line, when you select the lines option in 2D shapes, you can cre create whatever line that you want in 2D shapes. Like this. See, it's perf perfectly straight. So, uh, you can create lines in brushes too, but see here's the problem you can uh, create uh, uh, lines from your marker so let me show you the difference 
Give me a minute. Okay, so here's the thing. So I have cleared uh, all the lines that I have uh, created from the eraser. So here's the thing. When you select a marker or whatever brush that you chosen and uh, make a line, let me choose the color. Okay, when you draw a line. Uh, it will not be straight as you think so that's gonna be changing in 2d shapes lines and curves you can get uh, you can create shapes using these lines too uh, but for that you have 2d shapes these are very good shapes and for, and this is the line that I have created from uh, the marker so now you can see the line that I'm creating from 2D shapes. And as you can see, the line is perfectly straight. And there are various kind of lines that you can use. Curves. Embedded by uh, all these points that they are going to give you. You can uh, make it longer when you click on these three points in a curve you can edit them uh, by uh, clicking on them and dragging them wherever you want like that you can change the thickness uh, sticker opacity uh, uh, material and you can make it 3d and uh, rotate uh, all of that then we let's move on to uh, uh, 3d shapes so let me get rid of all these so we cover 3d shapes these are very great uh, shapes you can create uh, take whatever need you whatever you need from these shapes and uh, draw some images that you want there are brushes we covered brushes there are various uh, kind of brushes that you want to, to fix uh, small small uh, spots on your uh, project and there is next up is 3d shapes so 3d shapes is like 2d shapes but it's three dimensional so let's take a cube and then draw it like this then uh, you can uh, rotate. You can uh, then you can rotate it from the y-axis, just like that. You can uh, you can rotation it. You can rotate it from the y-x-axis. Then uh, you can rotate it from the. You can uh, rotate it, uh, and then. You will be seeing the uh, position of your 3D image in the canvas and also known as the Z axis position and this is known as Z axis rotation so yeah that's what the 3D objects do these are the 3D objects so there are 3D models and 3D doodles so let's see one of those 3D models there are so I'm going to click on this uh, dog icon here and then click on the canvas. And then you can see there's a 3D image of a dog in my canvas. So there is uh, next up is 3D doodle. So 3D doodle is uh, you can create a doodle in your uh, canvas and then they they will give you some points of your uh, doodle and then you can drag and drop uh, drag and uh, select drag and uh, shape it to whatever shape that you want for example I'm gonna uh, take this tube brush creating long ribbons and short uh, uh, creating long ribbons and short drop draw dollops of 3d volume change the uh, and change the shape of the tube to triangle and star and more as you can see you can when you create the shape 
when you create the doodle you can mold it to whatever shape that you want that's what i was uh, that what i was meaning to say to you by uh, uh, earlier so let me show this to you so there is not enough space uh, let me clear these off wait i need to select and give them away and then cut okay so uh, okay so I got rid of all the uh, 3d shapes that I have uh, inserted my canvas so let's go create head and create a doodle and just like that so when I created this doodle when I created this shape uh, they will give you some pinpoints of your shape like this then you can click on those I uh, uh, then you can click on those uh, uh, Sorry about that. I have uh, uh, I didn't create the doodle uh, uh, correctly. So let me try that again. Uh, go ahead and select the shape that you want, and then uh, draw an image. Uh, as you can see, the image that you're creating is not coming as a 2D shape. It's coming at like a 3D shape. And when you uh, create an uh, image like this. It's an arch like this, a curve like this, you will be getting a tube like bend in here. Then, uh, as I said earlier, they will give you some pinpoints on your uh, 3D image, and then you can click on those and then drag and uh, stop them wherever that you want. Then you can add. Uh, uh, doodles like this. Uh, you can add doodles, and you you can uh, 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 again uh, mold them. Like I said earlier, let me get rid of this. Okay, so there are two more options that you can use. And uh, when you select the tube uh, tube brush, you can change the size. You can make it circular, cylinder. You can make it a triangle. You can make it a diamond. You can make it a hexagon. You can make it a star. Then you can change the thickness. Then you can uh, choose the material and the color. So. Next up is stickers. So stickers are basically stickers. You can uh, get these stickers from here and then click on the whatever sticker that you need and uh, click on it in here and then you can resize them. And then there are textures. Uh, right here for example I'm gonna click on bark and then as you can see the sticker is coming with the texture. So that's good. And uh, there is, you can upload stickers in your computer if you have them. Then there is text. You can add text to your canvas, to your project. Uh, you can add text uh, like this. Uh, let's say hello. No, text. So this is a simple and normal text you can add the differences you can add 3d text for example text and uh, you can see the 3d view and Okay, so unfortunately, uh, I think I'm not doing it uh, right 
um, because the 3D text is not working for me. Uh, you can try it and see if it works for you. And then uh, there you can choose the font style, font color, font uh, sorry, font size, text size, and then font color. You can make it bold, italic, underline, and then you can change the alignment of your text. Then there is effects. You can add different filters to your project as you like. You can uh, change the lighting of your project. Then there is the canvas. So you can show, show the canvas. You can, uh, you don't, if you toggle this off, you won't see the canvas. If you toggle this on, you will be seeing the canvas. You will be seeing the, so if you click on this transparent canvas, uh, I can if you toggle this on you won't be seeing the background as the you'll be your background will be transparent if you toggle this off your background will be you can see your background you can resize the canvas and then you can already flip all of those stuff and then uh, there is the 3d library so this is a great feature in train 3d as you could know by the title you can add 3d images to your paint to your project and uh, for example let's say i'm gonna choose this space selection then as you could see there are a lot of 3d uh, shapes that i can uh, 3d images that i can uh, choose uh, there is international space station as a 3d shape of international space station ogs telescopes satellites astronaut uh, retro UFO, uh, Mars uh, rovers, space shuttles, and some planets. So for example, I'm gonna choose this interna international space station. Uh, so, <coughs> so uh, because these are 3D shapes, uh, it'll like it'll take some time uh, to load them into your project. So but so this is a great feature in paint 3d uh, as i said earlier from the title you can add 3d images to your project that's very cool so uh next is we cover the 3d library and then there is this selector so this is a great so they had the select option is already is uh, basically every in every, so the select option is basically in every image editing uh, image editing and image creating softwares you can select the area that you want to go away and then they will give you the wider area of selections that you want to choose uh, they will give you the the width and the height of your selection you can make this a sticker you can magic select you can make this a 3d you can select all of the space you can crop, you can edit, you can cut, uh, delete, remove this selection and save it to your clipboard for later. You can copy, you can paste, you can delete, and uh, you can rotate, flip that, uh, those stuff. So, next is, um, uh, next is magic select. So, magic select is a lift and uh, you can lift an object out of your image and they will uh, they will at automatically fill in the background so let's say that you have a uh, image that you need to cut off the background so uh, you don't need to download any uh, uh, software to this you just need to uh, load the load your image in here and then crop all the way that you where you need the you, you where you need the background cut off so you have to choose your image only and then click on next and then they will uh, and then they will uh, cut away all the background and then uh, select only your image without the background so that is very that is a very cool feature that they have entered in paint 3d next is you can paste and then you can undo and you can see the history you can uh, uh, toggle this in uh, when you click on this you won't be seeing the options you can hide the names of the menu 
you can hide the names in the menu then you only will be then you will only be seeing the icons then uh, uh, you can uh, show interactive controls if your mouse isn't working you can uh, see the touch you can if your touch is not working if you're using a pen uh, you'll see you, you will be seeing the pen controls and you, you will be seeing the keyboard controls to control your uh, to control this to control uh, your images and to uh, yeah to control your images so as an example uh, in here in the mouse you will be seeing so if you take this combination you, you can pan uh, when you select these combinations you can pan and then we uh, do these combinations you can zoom in touch uh, when you press uh, like that you can uh, pan and zoom and pan uh, you can pan like this in keyboard you can pan zoom and reset by clicking on these uh, key combinations then there is menu you can browse for files and uh, to open them you can make a new one you can insert files you can save this image and then you can save and then you can print it you can view the model mixed you can view the model in mixed reality and then you can share it and there is settings so go ahead and save this file and uh, go ahead and save this file as uh, uh, you need to choose the file format so because uh, so because I haven't uh, done anything in my project I'm not going to be saving this so if you have any 3d uh, objects in your uh, if you have any 3d objects in your uh, uh, project you can save it as 3d model you can save it as video if you want you can sa save it as images you can save and Save as plain 3D objects. You will be able to do. You will be able to edit this project in plain 3D later. So because I haven't done anything in plain 3D, so because I have all because I was demonstrating everything, every option you need to know. I haven't done anything anything in here. So uh, that's about it. And uh, you can save this by clicking on this uh, close icon. Then you can save this uh, here. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna be saving this so that's about it so thanks for watching catch you guys in the next one subscribe subscribe bye